This video explains how to set up progress bars in the list or document library in SharePoint 2013, SharePoint 2016 and Office 365 using List Booster from SharePoint list. Browse to your list and click on List Booster icon to switch to design mode. This will show List Booster toolbar. Now, when you hover over column headers, pen icon shows up. Choose column with numeric data. Click pen icon in order to access column settings. There are three tabs – Static, Conditional Formatting and Advanced. Let's focus on conditional formatting in this how-to. Select Show Progress Bar option. You can choose from various linear or radial options here. Set up your range. Let's say the minimum value should be 0 and the maximum value should be 1 million. Click OK to see your progress bars. Now let's make it even more meaningful by applying different color options. Hover over the column header again and click pen icon to open up column settings. Choose conditional formatting tab. Set color condition by clicking on the target value. Now click this black square to change the color. Let's say everything less than 30% should show up in red, between 30 and 70 in blue and between 70 and 100 in green. You can also click three dots over the indicator for a more granular control or to remove it completely. Click OK to apply. Switch between different progress bar styles with just a few clicks. You can set progress bars for date-time columns too. You would have to choose starting and ending date for those. All these styles work equally great in quick edit mode. Column styles are saved automatically. Keep in mind that column styles, as well as any other list booster styles, are visible to yourself only unless you publish it, which makes it available to the other users. Thanks for watching list booster how-tos. Enjoy your SharePoint with us.